Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Mastering Advanced Reporting Capabilities with Locus and Lock KPIs. My name is Mohammed An Asghar, and I am the Sales Account Manager at Locus, and I'm thrilled to be your host today. Now, before we dive into the exciting details, let me provide you with a brief introduction to Locus. Locus is a comprehensive legal practice management software designed to streamline your day-to-day -day operations and elevate your firm's performance. With features such as workflow automation, CRM and client portal, billing and accounting, document management, email and calendar integration, and two-factor authentication. Locus empowers you to manage your legal practice efficiently and effectively all in one place. Now, let's turn our attention to today's topic. We are honored to have with us Sachin Bakai, CEO of Locus, a, a pioneer in leveraging data analytics to drive growth and success in legal industry. Now, Sachin's expertise and passion for empowering law firms with actionable insights are truly inspiring. During this webinar, Sachin, are, Sachin will delve into cutting-edge reporting techniques that will revolutionize the way you analyze and optimize your firm's performance. You will learn how the integration between Locus and Law KPIs unlocks unparalleled insights and tools for small and mid-sized law firms, propelling them toward financial independence and success. So without further ado, I'm delighted to hand over the floor to Sachin Bakai, who will guide us through this enlightening session. Over to you, Sachin. Thank you, On, for uh, having me on this webinar, and thank you for hosting this. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sachin Bakai, and the CEO of Law KPI. We started Lock KPI about three years ago by accident. One of the attorney in my network was struggling in getting some insights uh, from his uh, legal management system. So they reached out to us, we built it for them. And then after that, we spoke to hundreds of other attorneys and everybody was struggling to run their firm as a business. Because like any other law firm, uh, like any other business, even law firm needs insights to be able to grow to be able to increase profitability, drive performance, improve utilization. So that kind of encouraged us to build the solution that integrates with various different applications, uh, including Locus. So our integration with Locus is extremely strong and uh, we are able to seamlessly integrate with Locus data. We have access to everything within Locus. So it just makes it easier for us to deliver out-of-the-box reports. And depending on the law firm, a lot of times you have custom data and custom fields. We can actually leverage those information and create custom reports for you. So the goal of Lock API and the integration with Locus is basically help you streamline your reporting. <clears throat> on an average, uh, you know, law firm on an average spends about like 20 plus hours uh, in generating the reports manually they end up spending more time in collecting and gathering the data than actually analyzing the data. So our goal is to help them streamline the reports, have the reports available to them daily, weekly, monthly, whatever frequency they need, so that they don't have to wait for the month to close or the quarter to close to look at information and make strategic discussions. Because if if you wait for the month or the quarter, by the time you're looking in the red view mirror. So the month has already passed and that is, you don't have enough time to make changes. So our goal is to give you the ability to look at information in uh, pretty much uh, real time. <clears throat> so leveraging Lock API or any reporting solution like Lock API, I think we have seen that the accuracy in the reports is it's close to 90% uh, accurate, 99% accurate. Uh, law firms are able to make better decisions uh, using um, a reporting solution like Lock API. And uh, to give you one of the examples is uh, one of our clients, uh, they are in workers' compensation. Uh, they do workers' compensation for uh, enterprise clients. And in one of the cases, their market share for a specific client, like, for example, Michael's, was going down month over month. And they didn't realize it until the it was like, three months down into 2024 when uh, they saw this thing. So last week, they reached out to the client to figure out like why they were losing market share. 
And once they identified it, they fixed the problem. And now they're expected to increase their market share by 40%. The only reason they were able to catch this thing is because they had access to information that could give them a month over month comparison of their key clients to see are they gaining or losing market share. So, and I have like several other examples that kind of highlights why it is important to look at data on a regular basis to be able to help your firm grow and be more profitable. Okay. So I would like to make this like a little bit more engaging. So if you have any questions at any given point during the presentation, uh, please uh, feel free to put it in, in the Q&A box uh, and on is probably gonna monitor those Q&A box. And on, feel free to uh, interrupt me uh, during the presentation. So the more uh, interactive we can make it, the better it is. Uh, sure, Sachin. Yeah, thank you. So in my mind, it, you know, for every law firm, there are three key areas where we need to uh, have insights. We need to make sure that we have the visibility, marketing, operations, and financials. So these are the three areas where we try to make sure that uh, you have the visibility. A lot of times the financial information comes from different systems like QuickBooks Online. So we integrate with QuickBooks and uh, Lockers to make sure that you know you get the information in one place and you're not scrambling uh, to get the information from multiple different sources. Also, it is extremely important to have KPIs uh, that are in using this framework that are measurable, that are very specific, uh, and they align with your goals. For example, uh, if, if you're looking to be like a $5 million law firm, to be a $5 million law firm, how many leads do you need each week? How many leads, how many cases do you need to open uh, each month, close each month? What are your revenue goals? So it is important to identify those targets and then we can help measure against those targets on a weekly, monthly basis so that you can see that are you on track or not? Because if two, three months continuously, if you are, falling behind, then it's going to make it really difficult for uh, one to catch up. So it's extremely important to look at it on a, on a weekly and a monthly basis, depending on which KPI you're looking to measure. So in my mind, the most important flow for any business, including law firm, is, is lead to cash flow, right? So it's important to continue to analyze your leads. What kind of leads are you getting? What are the different sources that you're getting your leads from? Are the leads converting? Are, what type of matters are converting? So if you do free consultation, how many free consultations do you do? How many free consultations show up? How many no-shows? So it's important to measure at each different stages so that you know where in the process from lead to cash is where you need to focus on improving the quality and efficiency. Most of our clients, they get uh, heavily dependent on referral source, right? They have like, you know, 100 referral source, but which referral source are actually working? Which referral source is generating what revenue? So that way, you know, what are your top 10 referral source that helps you understand that and you maintain, you know, a relationship? Also, if, if you identify a specific type of referral source that is working, then, you know, you want to go and make sure that you find other referral sources of the same type because you know they might be able to refer you uh, more business. Similarly, on the productivity side, right, it's extremely important to capture the hourly targets. If you do hourly billing or if you do flat fee or you do combination, it's important to have targets by employee for each of these things so that you know exactly are they meeting their uh, utilization targets? Are they, you know, um, most of our clients, they run a report on a weekly basis to see how the team performed the previous week. So if they need to make any adjustments, they can still have time to make adjustments and make sure that they meet their monthly monthly targets for uh, productivity. Similarly, on the finance side, it's important to look at information like, okay, you know what, how many clients do I have that has a trust account? How much is left in the trust account? How much, what, what is the WIP? Am I going over uh, than what I have in the trust account? So you can schedule like set thresholds. So that'll help you. Okay, you know what? 
once the trust goes down and only 20% is left, you can schedule an alert that kind of say, okay, you know what, this is something that you want to reach out to them and have them replenish the trust. So it is extremely important to constantly have that visibility by client. Also, a lot of our clients, they do flat fee billing, and I'll show it to you when we move to demo. Uh, in the flat fee billing, uh, multiple people work on it, but what was the breakdown? Who is working on what? What is the allocation? If the same matter, if you were to do it on an hourly basis, would you make money? Would you lose money? Are you charging enough for the flat fee or not? So it is important to periodically look at the data and analyze it and make sure that you're charging enough for the flat fee. A lot of times after looking at the allocation on a flat fee, uh, you know, my clients realize, okay, you know what? The attorney is spending way too much time on a flat fee matter where he or she could have easily delegated to paralegals or associate, right? So by delegating work that others can do, you can immediately increase uh, the profitability uh, on a flat fee matter. So it, it's important to look at all those uh, data on a regular basis. And it's important to have a solution that actually gives you that data uh, so that you don't have to worry about spending time analyzing and collecting data. So time permitting, these are some of the reports uh, that are most commonly used by our clients that I'm going to try to go in and highlight uh, within the, uh, within the uh, product. So on, uh, before I move into the demo, uh, if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts that you'd like to share, um, please let me know. So Sachin, I do have one of the questions from uh, the attendees. And one of them asked that, can I create my own reports and dashboards in the system? Uh, th that's a great question. Uh, we are a done for you service. So anything that you need, uh, we don't expect you to learn a new tool or not learn a new programming language. So anything that you need, you just let us know and we will build it for you and add it to the dashboard. And once we add it to the dashboard, we will support any custom development that we have done for you. But uh, to answer your question, no, but we do it for you. That's a great question. All right, understood. And uh, there's also one of the questions here that says, how often do you refresh data with Locus? That's a great question. I should have covered it earlier. We sync with Locus data on a nightly basis. So everything that you see in Lock API will be as of yesterday. And it's important for us to sync it during uh, the downtime so that you know we get all the data is accurate and we don't run into any uh, failures with the API. So we sync on a nightly basis with lockers. So now if you run a report or if you schedule a report to run like first thing in the morning, it's going to be as pretty accurate with what you have in lockers. All right. Thank you for sharing. Uh, all right. This one just came in. Uh, do you integrate with QuickBooks? Yes, we do integrate with QuickBooks, uh, but QuickBooks has a lot of sensitive information, so we don't blindly integrate with it. Depending on the reporting need, we will only integrate and sync the information that is required for the reports and will not bring in all the information from QuickBooks. So, And to give you an example, uh, whenever we create a custom dashboard for uh, employee profitability or firm profitability, uh, that is where we actually connect to QuickBooks and get the expenses and overheads and other information from QuickBooks. We don't really need to get all any other details uh, from QuickBooks. Everything else, we can get it from Locus, and we rely on QuickBooks for limited information. Also, uh, every firm sets up QuickBooks and their chart of accounts differently. So uh, depending on how they have set up, so we'll work with you or your CFO uh, to understand how you have set up your charter of accounts, and then uh, we will build the integration. All right, uh, Sachin, there's one more question uh, by one of our attendees. They're asking, do you integrate with LawPay or Gravity Payments or other credit card processing programs? Uh, we do not, but most of the credit card processing programs, they will actually update the legal management system. So if there's a payment received, it gets updated in the legal management system. So those, that is the information that we leverage uh, from like systems like Locus. All right, I think that were uh, the questions for now. You can continue. And if there are any other questions, I'll let you know, Sachin.
Perfect. On, so do you see see my screen again? Do you see the dashboard? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So out of the box, uh, matter insights, will insights, firm outstanding productivity insights. These are the four dashboards that we've created for uh, Locus that will be configured out of the box within three days once we get access to the system. And our all our dashboard and reports, they work the same way. It just makes it very easy uh, for the users to use it and requires minimal training. So this kind of gives you a quick view of number of matters open, what is in the build, collection, credit issues. Uh, this gives you your year over here billing and collection. All our charts, you can toggle between date. Oh, sorry, it just kicked me out. Uh, I'm assuming you can see see my chart again. Yes. Okay. So sorry about that. Uh, all our charts, you can toggle between data and chart depending on your preference. If you want to do an analysis, you can simply open up that report and then you can run it. For example, if you want to run it for three years, you can simply select three years. It'll give you the trend for three years. So this is the report that one of our clients used to see the lifetime value of that client and understand uh, you know, they're uh, increasing the market share or losing the market share. So this is, you can run it for a specific client. It kind of shows you, you know, whether you are losing the market share or it's increasing the market share um, by month over month. So it just makes it very easy to do it. Uh, if you want to go back, you can just simply uh, X out of it and it takes you back to default. So you can run, most of our reports will have all the standard filters that you can run it with by client, by matter, by invoices, by billing method, by practice area. For example, if you want to see how you performed in a in a divorce practice area over the last three years, you can see the performance of the practice area. Now, within this practice area, if you want to see how a specific attorney performed uh, in that practice area, you can see uh, John's performance in the divorce practice area over the last, uh, last three years. It just makes it very easy for you to slice and dice it, the data, uh, uh, whenever you need it. Also, all our reports, you can export it into any of these different formats. You can email it directly from here so you don't have to download, go to Outlook and email it. And also, you can schedule a broadcast. You can schedule as many broadcasts as you like. Uh, you can set it up for weekly, monthly, whatever frequency you want, and you can schedule it for a lot of our clients, they look at certain reports on a weekly basis, but they, they want a consolidated view uh, for a quarterly uh, mean management meeting. So they'll run the report twice, or weekly and quarterly, so that they don't have to worry about consolidating it. It'll automatically create a quarterly report and email it to you. So it just makes it very easy that you don't have to remember to run the report. It'll automatically run it and uh, email it to you. But you have access to lock API 24-7. We don't host our, the solution. Everything is on Amazon Cloud, and we leverage all the security features that Amazon has to offer uh, in protecting uh, the data. Any report, if you are not sure what you did, you can simply hit reset. It takes you back to default. So there is nothing in lock API that you can uh, that do to you know, uh, break any of the reports that we have. So similarly, we collect data at the lowest level. So this kind of gives you a bill and collection by matters. And if you want to drill down, you can simply click on it and it'll give you, sorry, it'll give you um, the details behind it. All the detail level, line level information can also be imported, exported. You just have to simply open up that window and it gives you the ability to slice and dice it or export it uh, or share it with, with other users. Uh, so Sachin, there's uh, one of the questions. Um, the attendees have been asking that, do you help with cleaning their data in Locus? We can help identify which data needs to be cleaned, but physically cleaning the data in Locus uh, will be you and your team's responsibility because we don't touch or update anything in Locus. But if there are certain things that, you know, if you're running a report by practice area, we can identify 
rec records or matters that are not assigned to any practice area. So anything that is unassigned, we can give you a report that you can go and clean it up in Locus, but we will not update any transactions in Locus. All right, and uh, there's also one more question that says, how do you charge for custom reports? That's a great question. So custom reports is basically based on the complexity of the report. They'll charge the fixed fee for that report. Uh, and depending on the report, uh, if there is something that you need that we can leverage one of our standard reports, we'll just take a standard report and modify it so you're not paying for the full development work, you're just paying for the change uh, that we need to do to the standard report. So similarly, we have built like hundreds of custom reports. So anything that you need, there are very high chances that we don't have to start from scratch. We can just take what we have built for others and then modify it and make sure that it fits your needs. So that will significantly bring down the cost. But again, it's it's a fixed fee based on the complexity uh, of the report. So once we build it, we will add it uh, to, to the dashboard. So similarly, this is your top build matters, top collected matters. Everything is at the firm level, but you can always run it for various different attorneys. So when the attorneys are looking at it, they only see data of like top build matters that belong to them. So you can slice and dice it by originating attorney, responsible attorney, however you want to do it. Uh, then we build the list, the standard uh, reports, based on what other law firms have asked us. So based on that, we have created uh, a list of standard reports and we continue to add a list of standard reports. So every year, uh, twice, we will you will get an email with the list of additional reports that we have created. And if it makes sense, you let us know which one you want and we'll add it to your dashboard. So, and there's no extra charge for those reports. So. Periodically, we continue to add additional reports uh, to our library. Uh, this is like, you know, your WIP, WIP matters. So ideally, if I run this for 2023, uh, I would expect that nothing should show up in this report because we're in 2024. So everything that I've worked in 2023 should have ideally been invoiced. So our clients run this report for a previous quarter and make sure that nothing has fallen through the cracks and anything that is supposed to be invoiced is uh, already invoiced. So based on our standard reports, uh, users get a lot more information than they need. So not every report is going to be relevant for everyone, but we want to make sure that you have the report uh, at your disposal whenever you need it. Uh, this is the attorney uh, utilization report. So all our clients, they run this for last business week. So that tells you exactly how the team performed. And, and we will load in targets like your billable hour targets, your non-billable hour targets by employee so that you, you know exactly if the team is meeting, meeting their, their uh, utilization target or not. So that way, you know, you don't have to wait for the month, but immediately you can discuss with the team if they've missed their, their targets for the previous week. So similarly, we have like, you know, monthly revenue performance, bill and collection by user. And a lot of times when you toggle between data and chart, chart will give you a lot more details that sometimes hard for us to show it uh, in the graph. So uh, this kind of gives you your collection expense, uh, credit issues, anything that you have for that specific user. And you can run it for any given period of time. You can run it by client, by practice area. So you can slice and dice the same report uh, multiple ways. Uh, your top build clients, top collected clients. If you have clients with multiple matters, it kind of consolidates it for you. So you know which are your top clients and who you need to take care of. Similarly, build and collection by practice area, fee allocation report. So this is a report that we can customize because every firm they do allocation based on origination a little differently. So once we understand how you want to allocate fees based on origination, we can customize it and give it to you. We have clients where they actually split the origination fee 
uh, to like, you know, and multiple attorneys, depending on the matter. So you can specify at matter level what percentage split you want to do uh, based on who originated the matter and who's responsible for the matter. And also all the calculations typically are done based on collections and expenses are typically paid out first. So when we calculate the allocation, we don't include the expenses. We ex pay them out first. And then whatever the balance is, uh, that is what we distribute uh, based on the, the allocation logic. Uh, this is the monthly revenue and performance by practice area. It kind of gives you a quick view of, you know, are you consistently growing uh, in that practice area or, you know, at least being steady? Because in this case, in the bankruptcy in the month of May, it completely tanked, right? So it's important to have the visibility. Are you consistently growing in the practice area? If you're not growing, uh, then maybe sometimes a lot of our clients, they refer those type of matters out to other law firms rather than building a team and expertise if they're not growing in that practice area. So it, it kind of helps you. Also, a lot of times if you do any paid ads for a specific practice area, it kind of helps you measure whether you know the uh, paid ads has been generating any, any results or not. Uh, this is a pretty self-explanatory. It kind of gives you the um, aging, 30, 60, 90 day aging. You can sort within the reports to see which are the ones that you need to focus on because these are like 90 days uh, overdue, gives you by client. Uh, it kind of consolidates it for you by client if you have multiple uh, matters for the client by practice area. And this is something that we recently added because when you have multiple invoices by client, uh, a client wanted to know which invoices is actually aged. So this is a new thing we just recently added that kind of shows you the aging by invoices when you have multiple invoices uh, for the client. <clears throat> Similarly, on the on the growth side, it kind of shows you the you know matter of hired intake, not hired, the conversion rate. The conversion rate calculation is also something that is unique to every firm. So we will work with you to understand your formula of conversion rate. Because for example, you get 100 leads a month, but out of the 100 leads, 30 leads are completely uh, not relevant. You don't even practice that kind of a law. So you don't want to include that 30 uh, in part of your conversion rate calculation. You want to start with the 70 leads. So we will work with you to identify the leads that you reject up front. Uh, we don't include those in part of your conversion rate calculation. So your conversion rate calculation is a little bit more meaningful. Also, you know, this is like a matter type conversion, right? Kind of shows you which type of matters are actually converting. In this case, you know, we got like 78 leads in litigation, 13 hired. So, you know, 16% conversion. On the same note, you know, we have business litigation, 23, only three hired. Or in family, nobody got hired, right? So the maybe the quality is missing or we need to find out what exactly is the reason why they're not getting hired. Uh, this is a good example of um, data cleanup. So things where matters where you don't have uh, matter type assigned, it'll show up as unassigned. So then you can look at the matters that are unassigned and go back into uh, lockers and you know assign them appropriately. So these are the kind of reports that we can create and we can share with you that would help you data cleanup, but we will not physically change any data in, in lockers. Split the lead source conversion, it kind of shows you, okay, you know what, we got a lot of leads from Google, but the conversion rate was pretty low. So it kind of highlights, okay, the quality is missing, the quantity is there, but the quality is missing. So this is something that, you know, you can work with your marketing team to make sure that the quality is improved uh, in Google. So everything that I've showed you so far, these are all standard reports. Uh, one other report I want to highlight before I go into the custom side of it is uh, the employee productivity. So this report is basically a lot of times our clients, they, they end up working for like, let's say 100 hours, but only charge 80 hours. So the 20 hours of write down uh, is what we want to capture by matter, by employee and by uh, client. So in this case, you know, the attorney worked for 144 hours, 
only invoice 135. So the delta, it shows like how much you have written down. So if you have a practice where you have constantly write downs, so this is what is going to help you get the visibility of how much you're writing for which employee and for uh, which client. So everything so far I've showed is standard. This is a custom uh, dashboard that we have built for firms who actually do uh, paid ads. So it kind of gives you a quick view of you know which channel is working, which is not working, right? Kind of gives you like how much you're spending by month across all the different channels. What is the revenue by different channels? What are the leads by different channels? What is the ROI uh, by different channels? And this is the case where we will integrate with uh, QuickBooks to understand the get the spend information from QuickBooks by different channels so that if we compare that with the locus data and then you can look at it which channel is working, which is not working. This is another custom report that we have built for several clients where it kind of gives you a breakdown of a flat fee matter. If multiple people work on it, right? What is the breakdown? Who worked on it and what was the allocation? So in this case, uh, the flat fee matter was like 11,800. That is what got collected. But if you look at it, the amount of time that was spent, uh, we ended up spending close to like 13,000 uh, 800. So we kind of lost a little bit of money. So if we had done this matter on an hourly basis, we would be able to charge them more. So that, this is one use case for this report. Another one is you can look at it at any given point of time and see how much of the flat fee have you already burned? What, what has been already exhausted? So that way it kind of helps you manage uh, the rest of the deliverables on a flat fee. Also, in this case, the attorney is spending way too much time, right? So this is the time where you can see, okay, you know what? What can I delegate it to other people to help increase the profitability? So a complementary report to this is like, you know, it kind of calculates the flat fee. If you were to do it on an hourly basis, how much would it be, right? So you can use this report to identify, okay, which type of matters I need to increase my flat fee. Am I charging enough for my flat fee or not, right? So if I'm if I'm constantly losing money or my margins are low, maybe I don't want to do that as a flat fee, or I convert uh, like I charge a higher flat fee uh, for those reports. So similarly, uh, you know, this is a custom dashboard that we built where we can give you the profitability by month and profitability by employee, but we need to understand what are what do you want us to include part of cost. So this is where we would integrate with QuickBooks also and understand from your CFO or a CPA, what are the things that you want us to include in cost in addition to you know, the salary overheads? Because sometimes if you want to calculate profitability at employee level, and if you have a paralegal that is being shared between two attorneys, we need to understand how you want to split the cost uh, for that attorney, I mean, for that paralegal between the attorneys. So once we understand how you want us to do it, we can actually build this dashboard for you that you can look uh, like run it for uh, any different uh, employee or different time frame to understand the profitability. So uh, on this is what I had planned to share uh, for this webinar. And then, you know, this is a great time uh, for me to uh, open up uh, for any questions. I know there's a lot of information that I shared, and I shared it really uh, fast, keeping uh, the time in mind. And uh, so this is a great time for us to open up uh, for any any specific questions uh, that uh, that we have. Uh, all right, that seems amazing. Thank you so much for the uh, informative session today, Sachin. Uh, uh, attendees, if you have any questions, you can pose them in the Q&A section, and then uh, we will be answering all of the questions that you guys might have. And also, you know, uh, we can share after this call, we can share with the attendees, uh, like if they want to have a one-on-one -on -one personal demo and discuss any of their specific reporting needs, I'm happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one discovery call with them so that uh, I, can, I can actually identify whether Lock API is a good fit for them or not.
All right, that sounds great. Uh, Sachin, can you share your uh, scheduler link on the chat, please? Uh, yes, I will share that link on the chat. It is on our website as well, but uh, here is the link uh, to schedule a demo directly with me. So you, this is the link uh, on, you can share it with, uh, with everyone. All right, Sachin, I've shared this with everyone on the chat. Okay. So ho hopefully this its information was helpful. Uh, you know, it's extremely important to make sure that, you know, everybody runs their firm as a business, be data centric, leverage data as much as we can. And we have built a very, very strong integration with Locus and uh, the APIs are extremely uh, powerful that Locus has built. So it just makes it easier for us to get all the information uh, we need in able to build standard and custom dashboards uh, for you guys. So I'm really excited about this partnership with uh, with Locus and um, you know, uh, looking forward to uh, helping you in the near future. All right, that was great. Uh, uh, people, if you have any questions, we'll be taking them now. You can send them in the Q&A section. I think we don't have uh, any additional questions. Uh, so on, um, we can wrap up uh, this webinar. Uh, yes, I think so, because uh, you were uh, pretty informative about uh, the things we have been discussed. Uh, so thank you so much, Sachin. And thank you, everyone, for giving us time today. And thank you for joining this meeting. Uh, we hope so that in the future, we also uh, would like to conduct these kind of sessions on a better frequency so that we create a better general public awareness. And uh, if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one scheduled meeting with Sachin on how a law KPS can be a better fit for your organization, uh, we have already shared a link in the chat through which you can schedule a demo with Sachin for a one-on-one -on -one call. And again, I would like to thank you so much uh, to all of you to join the meeting today. And it was a pleasure to have you here. If you guys have any further questions, you can definitely email that at support at locus.com. And you can also uh, email Sachin as well. Sachin, can you, uh, would you be able to share an email or? Yeah, they can send it to support at lockapi, lockapis.com. All right, that sounds wonderful. So there are no further questions. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for your time. We look forward to seeing you again in the future. Okay. Thank, thanks, Don. Thank, thank you all. Bye now. All right. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.